Good evening. This is a presentation on the South Dublin County Draft Biodiversity Action Plan, which is currently in um, public display until the 10th of August. First, um, just to give the policy context of the plan, why are we preparing this plan? Well, it is an action in the Council's corporate plan, in the County Development Plan and in the County Heritage Plan to prepare and implement a County Biodiversity Action Plan. We are also uh, under obligation, both nationally and internationally, to protect biodiversity, uh, beginning with the International Convention on Biodiversity and the more recent the EU Biodiversity Action Plan and the Biodiversity Strategy. Uh, nationally, then, there is um, a biodiversity plan which requires local authorities to prepare and implement measures that will protect biodiversity in their own local areas. Um, Biodiversity in Ireland is protected under the Wildlife Act and also under the EU Habitats Directive and EU Birds Directive and their corresponding regulations. Currently, uh, the Council addresses biodiversity issues under the following. Uh, first of all, the County Development Plan contains a chapter on green infrastructure with the specific objective of developing a green infrastructure network across the county, which is composed of parks and open spaces and other green areas, which are all interlinked, providing a network of communication for biodiversity through the county. Biodiversity is just one element of our broader heritage, um, but the heritage plan does contain specific actions that are targeted deliberately at biodiversity. And as a planning authority, South Dublin County Council um, would address biodiversity concerns uh, as each application, each planning application has been assessed, um, applying the relevant conditions to any planning permission to ensure that biodiversity is enhanced on each development site. The Council's Climate Change Action Plan also contains a number of um, nature-based solutions recognising the fact that uh, biodiversity is under significant pressure to begin with, but will be facing even further stresses when the impacts of climate change uh, come to pass. Our parks and open spaces are also um, great uh, areas where biodiversity can be maintained and enhanced, and the management of those spaces um, is undertaken with the benefits of biodiversity to the fore. Our, the Council is a signatory to the All Ireland Pollinator Plan, and as signatories, we are undertaking to manage our habitats for the, the benefit of pollinators. So, notwithstanding um, the, uh, the way we are currently addressing our biodiversity issues, it is time for a dedicated biodiversity plan to be in place. Um, which will act really as a one-stop shop for biodiversity in the county. Um, so the objective is that it will be a central focus for the coordinated protection and management of the county's biodiversity resource. So biodiversity is, um, just as a definition, is the sheer variety of life on Earth, including all living organisms, plants, animals, microorganisms, bacteria and genes. And all of these work together in a complex web, um, interacting with one another, to create the variety of habitats and ecosystems that occur and upon which we rely. Biodiversity is all around us. It is not just in um, protected spaces. Uh, it's also in our houses, in our gardens, our cities, farmland and in our countryside. We ourselves as a human species are an integral part of this uh, biodiversity web and we benefit significantly from it. But unfortunately, we also exert um, a major influence over it. This influence isn't always positive. In South Dublin County, we have three Natura 2000 sites. These are sites that are protected under European legislation and they occur in the Dublin Mountains. We also have five proposed natural heritage areas and um, the special area amenity order that applies to the Liffey Valley. We also have a range of protected and rare species, um, many of which do not uh, are not restricted only to protected sites, but occur throughout the whole county. These include bats and otters and kingfisher and a number of rare plants, 
and the one in the picture here is the yellow archangel. Our parks and open spaces, as I mentioned earlier, and can offer significant benefits uh, in the management of uh, different habitat types from woodlands to grassland to wetland um, trees and um, and obviously that has to be balanced with the need for uh, amenity for the human population as well. Parks also offer us an opportunity to create habitats uh, by either planting new hedgerows, uh, planting new woodlands or in this instance here planting um, a lovely cornfield mix um, a meadow mix which provides spectacular colour for us, but also provides additional feeding for pollinating, plant, pollinating insects. We mustn't forget the private gardens. They are very important, particularly when we um, choose to garden in a chemical free way, uh, avoiding the use of pesticides or herbicides and making our own compost to put organic material back into the soil to keep it healthy. There are kilometres of roadside verges and motorway margins throughout the county. And again, if these are managed in an appropriate way, um, they can assist by providing additional feeding for pollinating insects, while also providing great colour for us. So the draft, connecting with nature. The draft has been prepared to give us a backdrop really to the different types of biodiversity there are in the county. Um, it also looks at the challenges facing biodiversity and obviously then the reasons why we need to act now to protect and enhance it into the future. So the plan is really um, a plan of action of how we are going to address these different challenges to biodiversity. The draft plan outlines three main targets of action. So the first target or theme is getting to know what we have. If we are to put an effective uh, plan of action in place, we need to know exactly what we have in the county. Um, and these will be the spatial projects, uh, surveying and gathering the baseline information of the different types of biodiversity we have and where it occurs in the county. And with this information, we will put a map together of all the different habitats and species. And this map then will form the basis of the county's green infrastructure network. So the plan will support this main or this very important uh, objective in the county development plan by providing the baseline information to construct this network of green spaces through the county that will benefit biodiversity and also us as um, residents of the county. The second target uh, or theme is telling the story. And this is really where the engagement and the education and the research will be addressed. Um, the first action there will be to uh, prepare a biodiversity communication strategy. And this will promote what we have in the county and highlight the reasons why it needs, it needs to be protected and enhanced. Um, and this is really where a lot of the community engagement uh, projects will emerge where we will organize um, events and talks and uh, information on how people can get involved and how they can connect with nature. The second theme reflects the fact that, well, the county is really a county of two halves, um, an urban environment and um, a rural environment. And this action recognizes that uh, measures to address biodiversity will differ in both of those communities. Um, and the council will support the different projects that will benefit each of those different community types. The third action then is to quantify and promote the economic benefits that our e ecological landscape gives us. Sometimes um, in order to fully appreciate the value of biodiversity around us, it's, it, it helps some people to see that there is an economic value to it. So this action will undertake the research to provide that information. The third theme uh, is leading the way. And this is all about good governance and policy um, development and uh, integrating that with uh, our actions for climate change. So the first action there is really looking at how we will um, embed and integrate national and EU policy and legislation requirements across all of the Council's plans and projects and across the projects that um, the Council supports as well. The second action is looking at um, how we will develop the best practice guidance documents for biodiversity for use, not just by council, 
but also to assist local communities, businesses, farming, communities, developers and schools, etc. The third action is um, that relates to the county development plan. And the review of the county development plan is about to commence and the, the biodiversity plan will be well placed to help advise and uh, provide information uh, in the uh, creation of the new county development plan. And then the fourth action, the final one, um, will be to coordinate very closely with the council's own climate change action plan, targeting measures that will um, assist biodiversity uh, and help it adapt to the changing conditions that um, are coming our way. So while those themes and actions um, are placed very much at a strategic level, there are many things that we can do as individuals and as families and communities to start. And the first thing we can do ourselves is to connect or reconnect with nature. Um, so page 39 of the plan just gives a few suggestions and a few ideas of how we can take individual action ourselves and uh, prepare ourselves to help implement the plan at the more strategic level. So the time frame for the preparation um, process. Well, the draft plan is currently on public display and submissions are invited up to the 10th of August, 2020. Um, submissions are welcomed through the uh, Council's consultation portal at consult.sdublincoco.ie. Our email or postal submissions will also be accepted at the addresses indicated. So in August and September, the review uh, of the submissions will um, occur and uh, the Chief Executive's report will be prepared and presented to the Council. And then following uh, agreement of the revised plan, uh, the plan will be adopted and implementation commenced. So that is a summary of um, the draft plan as it currently stands and the submissions and consultation process. Um, I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you for listening.